Yo, so today I have the uh, my final well, off. I finally got my microphone for the GoPro, and uh, I thought we'd give it a test. So what we've got to do for today is you see that bike, that's a Honda CG125, and that's uh, a friend of mine's. And what we've got to do is he's been working on it and getting it back up to uh, a rideable sort of roadworthy standard. So we're going to go and take it for its MOT. So the bike I am on is a 1983 Honda VF400. It's a, yeah, it's a pretty nice bike actually, I've had it for a couple of years now. It's in a pretty good nick, goes not too bad, but uh, I'm thinking about getting something a bit bigger quite soon, but we'll have to see. I've got a little bit of a blowing exhaust where I haven't fully maintained the bike, but I'll sort that out in the next couple of days I think. We've got quite a nice day, it's not too sunny, not too cloudy. Peter, you haven't got a reflector on the back. And as we all know, you have to have a reflector on the back for an MOT. It's quite, uh, it's quite bizarre seeing Peter on a little CG125 actually. It's quite bizarre seeing him on such a small bike because he's actually got a, uh, I think it's an S1000, so the big BMW super naked bike. And uh, usually he does a bit of hooning on that. So to see him on a little tiny 125 is uh, a sight to be seen. Oh, he's going for it. <laughs> I seriously need to sort the uh, the exhaust out. It's a V4. So anyway, back to the bike. It's a uh, it's a V4 engine, 400 cc, and uh, it's got quite a nice grumbly sound when uh, when it's. T when it's sticking over, I, uh, a little a little while ago I took both uh, both silencers off because it's got a silencer on either side, and uh, I put two straight through uh, stainless steel pipes on it, and it was loud. It was loud, but it, when it was sticking over, it really did grumble like it was like really like wah, 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 wah. as I'm sure you can all imagine. But yeah, it, it gets uh, it gets it's not in the best condition, but it is in all right condition. I painted the frame up with a a soft brush, a <laughs> Teneb red hammerite, and to be fair, it looks all right. It's not a, it doesn't look too much of a bodge, but it gets quite a lot of attention when I go to bike meets and stuff because they're really rare bikes. Uh, like I've never seen another one on the road or or at a meet. I've only ever seen them in parts on eBay and stuff. So that's quite cool. But I'm thinking about getting a uh, a bigger bike. All my friends have got super bikes, so well Peter's got the super naked one litre. That's like a 160 cent brake, and then my friend. Another one of my friends has got an R1, so that obviously flies. And then my other friend that I ride with, he's got a uh, Daytona 600. So when I'm out with them, I just get left in in the dust. Like I'm I'm just left miles back. So I'm seriously contemplating getting a bigger bike, and I'm I'm really not too sure what to get. I've uh, stupidly I am 24, but I done my test a couple of years ago, and I was six months late on. Uh, on kind of doing it without getting that dodgy restriction thing so I've actually got a restricted license so I can only ride up to a certain power and size at the moment which is a pain in the backside but it's just life that's just life it's all because my parents didn't really want me to do my bike test so they were trying to persuade me not to and then my friends started doing it so I was like I'll oh, stuff it I'm going for it I'm just going to commit I'm just going to do this test so I went and done it past first time and all that so, but now the people who I've done my test with, they, if you go back, the people I've done my lessons with even, they want to charge like £300 to uh, to do like, have a couple of little like run through lessons and practice your mod one and then go and do it. They charge you £300 all in and I don't really want to pay £300 for all that because I feel pretty confident. Like, I've been riding for, a, I've been riding on the road for, for a couple of years and I've been riding bikes in general since I was about five years old. So, uh, so probably what's that? 19 years I've been riding actual motorbikes. So, I'd say I'm pretty confident on a confident slash com confident on the bike. 
So I think I could probably just turn up and just smash it out. There's plenty of YouTube videos telling you how to pass like your mod one and any tips for the mod two. So I think I'm just gonna just turn up and just see how it goes and just try and smash it out because the mod one is, I think it only costs 15 pounds to do. And, uh, but the only the, the problem I've got is you've got to have a 600 or above to do it. And my friends have all got the super bike, so although I feel confident on a bike, I'm unsure if I could do the uh, the turn in the road when you've got to do the U-turn in one um, on a super bike because I don't think the steering locks enough. I don't, I don't think it's physically possible. And um, and a couple of the other manoeuvres. Just it's just practicality. Like I need a more upright bike. Like Peter's S1000 would probably be all right to do it on but it's got um he was telling me that it's got the same steering lock as the uh s thousand r or or whatever it's called you know the uh, the new uh, bmw superbike it's got the same steering lock as that so it's really not a lot so it, that yeah again that wouldn't do it he said he's measured out the turn in the road and it won't do it it just hasn't got a lot for it oh how rude he didn't nod at me yeah, so for anyone that isn't from uh, in the UK, I don't know how what sort of things you've got, but everyone that kind of has a bike here in general, you'll kind of nod at each other. It's kind of like a little secret club. and uh, But you occasionally get people that just don't nod at all. I don't know if they... I don't know what it is. I, I don't get it. They just don't nod, but in general, people do. I'm not too sure if we'll see many bikes out today because it's not, not too sunny. And it's a weekday as well. We usually have a uh, bike night around this area is Wednesday evenings and everyone will go meet up at like the uh, local like, biker cafes and stuff and you get a good turnout. Sometimes you'll get maybe one or two hundred people there. Oh here he is, he's done me. Speedy Gonzalez has done me. What's going on here? Oh, there's a lorry going around the outside. good to go on the white lines when it's a little bit wet but as long as you're not honing and uh, you should be alright keeping the bike fairly upright don't you don't want to wiggle it around too much you uh, you should be alright I told you you go probably trying to be hacky smells a bit that bike <laughs> so he's top of that he's doing 60 miles an hour I feel like he's flat out. <laughs> oh, he's gaining, he's gaining. He's picking up the pace. He's up to 65 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Do, 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 do. I hope he gets by, we've got to go off at this turning. Yeah, so the thing about this place is, I don't know if you can see it up there on the horizon, the, the red sign. Um, that's the Honda garage, that's where we're going to get Peter's bike MOT. That's where I got my bike MOT, and a few of my friends have got their bikes MOT. They're pre pretty reasonable there, they don't they don't fine work, they do if you a good, honest MOT. And if your bike's old, they understand your bike's old, but they still expect it to be roadworthy. So, and they're, they're really nice people in there, and there'll be a few bikes in there that we can go and have a look at, and if we have a sit on. So yeah, but we've got to go off this turning, down all the way to the bridge, over the bridge, back up the same road, all just to get back there. But then we will be on the right side to go home. So yeah. We're taking over very high today. I think we can swap reflectors over. Did it? 
Oh, now it started spitting with rain. I am not about this life. I have to admit, I'm probably one of the most fair weather riders there is. <laughs> if it's raining a little bit, I kind of don't want to go out. Watch yourself, Peter. Nearly made me go into the curb. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Clearly see that we're just coming out. And still, maybe I should have been a bit more hesitant. So, why is it F or something? Oh, FZR, that's it, not why is it FZR. Well, there you go, it wasn't, uh, wasn't quite as good as we thought. He, he actually failed the MOT after his ear for an hour and a half, which was a pain in the ass. Um, what did it fail on? It failed on, uh, the actual thing it failed on was there was, there's some, the wires are getting caught on the full lock. When the, uh, when you got the bars turned on the full lock, the wire, this wires aren't getting caught. Which, um, I never knew was an MOT failure, but there you go. And then back on the road again. That's funny, he's tucked in. <laughs> oh, Jesus, look at this boy. You don't want a one two five. I see him, I see him. <laughs> At least it isn't raining right now. That's a uh, that's a good thing. I spoke too soon! <laughs> oh, what did I say? I need to stop raining! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's great because it's not like I uh, drilled a hole in the side of the GoPro uh, case or anything to be able to put the microphone cable in. No, didn't do that. And this is the great thing about having a bike is there's never actually any traffic because you can just skip past it all. Just got to keep an eye out for, for people doing this. I think on a bike, as long as you always act as if someone's going to try and run you over, you'll be wary enough.
absolutely soaked. There he is, little town hacker. So very wet. What a babe.